treacherous hours, the stricken craft was located out of Liverpool Bay. Powerful. Then the fearful news was flattest. His Majesty's news. Every nerve of the Admiralty, a race with death had indeed started. Efforts of war were translated into vessels of speeding cell rugs of Liverpool with straining heads of steam rushed to the scene to render service. Perilous service such as men of the sea never under any circumstances by their brothers in peril. We can only guess the activity in the itself. We know that the Davis apparatus saved four men. We know that all the men hoped to be saved by the same means, that they were all equipped and ready for that shattering, hazardous upward rush through deep sea to surface safety. With the knowledge of four having left the ship successfully, hopes ran high. Relief was felt by everyone. Prayers of thanksgiving were sent up by many. Then came doubt, stabbing at relieved and thankful hearts. Well, the threatened men, Mrs. Bolas, wife of the submarine's commander among them, still endeavored to smile hope, revealed their fully suppressed anxiety. Our survivors came and went. The next batch was waited for, but the next batch never came. Entombed in the fetus, they too waited for release, but the shell of their steel home became their shroud. The restless ocean, or the bereaved wives, mothers, sweethearts, children, hope deferred had truly made the heart sick with a hurt which time, we hope, we know.